We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Eddie James looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Jimmy Wood, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him. To see. You're out. Ball four, take your base. Ball four, take your base. Out. Up next for Arizona, Eddie James, already holding the all-time hit streak record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. What's the play ball? Three! That's ball four. Out! He's out! Three! Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie James, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Lede is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Next up for Los Angeles, John Duplantier, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in. Settling in now, Hunter Bishop. Now batting, the seventh fielder. Hunter. Fourth inning here, already a 5 to 2 score. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Dodgers down in order, and it remains 5 to 2. Bottom of the sixth Lead inning now, and the that'll bring back. forth the veteran outfielder, the Eddie James. Eddie James. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field, and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, as it's now a 7-3 game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone.
Ready now, Eddie now James, back. as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball no, hitter. So I might want to move time. that ball up and down and in and out and try not. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game, as it's now a one-run game, seven to six now. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick, and that's awfully hard to do. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, J.J. Blade. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And he will reach down to make the catch on the run. And what a fine way to end it there as this ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row. And this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon a one run finish an eight to seven game tonight Arizona came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory Ryan Helsley wins in relief for the eighth time this year Henry Horton earns the save out of the bullpen his 23rd of the campaign so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show the final line score for the ball game tonight first for the victorious Diamondbacks eight runs nine hits one error they left ten men on base MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the L.A. Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks look for their seventh straight victory next. Luis Madero will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much better job of keeping base runners off the bases. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits per nine innings pitched. Batting third. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. Eddie. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. Now the pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. Solo shot to right center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still giving him pitches to hit. So stepping in, Hunter Bishop, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Runner at second here with one man out. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that is off the wall. Trammell rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square at one apiece. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second. 
Digging in, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Now here it comes. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Lede is back in plenty of time to put this away, however. Next to hit will be the pitcher, now Dennis back. Santana, the runner in scoring position Dennis. with Sugan. Santana. Here's the 0 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1 1. Striding in, KJ Harrison. A hit in two tries for him so far. KJ Harrison. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Stepping in, Cody Hosey. He's one for two in this one. Cody. One out and a runner on second base. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hits sharply toward the right side. Lede is there, and he has it for the out. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as they... Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Eddie James. Hard hit ball to second. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Before the 0-1, he'll check on first. A dive, but he's back. Here's the 0-1. Runners on the move for second. On the ground to the right side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Ready once again, oh, Keston Hiera. He's working on a one for three play. thus far. Is put in play to the right side of the infield to second for Out. one, but the return throw will be too late and the run is in to score. On to first, but not in time. Hey, a nice win for them all around and an even better way to start things off on the first day of summer when every team looks ready to get on a roll. 3-1 to one the final score this afternoon. Arizona seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Tommy Baisley claims the win out of the pen his first. Henry Horton hammers down the save his 24th on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Three runs on seven hits, one error. They left 12 men on base.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The D-backs are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Thomas Helland starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. Not necessarily an overpowering guy. Has an ERA in the low threes. But one bad. thing he knows how to do, right he knows how to pitch, and he knows how to minimize damage. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. One, one, one. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly. Just like that, they take the lead. Stepping up now, Eddie James. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Now that ball's hit well, on, ball, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Now at the plate, Eddie James, 0 no for 1 here in the zero. early going. Eddie James. Get a good pitch right here. Here we go. First offering on its way. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped on the back. Pick it up. Pick it up. Throw to first Got will it. get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Dodgers four and the Diamondbacks two. Striding in once again, Eddie James. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, beat it out, beat Throw it on to first out. gets him, and the side is retired. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. Still down a run, it's 4 3. Now in the box, Eddie James. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. On, hitting baby. over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Now here's the signal from the dugout, so he'll take first here on the intentional walk, and that makes runners at the corners with two away. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jeffrey Ramos. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Runner goes for second. That's a strike to throw down. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. He set the 3-1. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Standing in, Will Benson. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Two. Ready for another chance, Eddie James, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter which side the plate of this guy bats from. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. Looking up is the right fielder, gone! 
Santa Maria, game over. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never. And that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one. And sometimes you just need to come through when it matters most to be the hero, and he did just that. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. Arizona came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Ryan Helsley wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ballgame.